Welcome back, 12-12 now, and Fort Warren meteorologist Shea Sorensen is tracking some stuff for us out there. Shay, what's going on? Yeah, you know, it's warm and sunny today. Enjoy that while it lasts because big changes are on the way, and that starts tonight. We've got a few rounds of rain and mountain snow on the way. It's pretty much tonight through early uh, Saturday morning, and uh, we could also see some snow above mainly 6,500 feet. That includes Summerhaven, and then we're also tracking the coldest morning of the season so far, and that looks to settle in by Sunday morning. So if you have any early Sunday morning plans, you're definitely going to want to bundle up before you head out. Uh, current temps mainly in the 60s and 70s, so super pleasant across eastern Pima County with a lot of sunshine too, so it's a really, really nice afternoon to get out and enjoy. To the south and east, a little cooler with temperatures mainly in the low to mid 60s, but overall a pretty nice start to the afternoon. High temps continuing to climb, and it looks like most of us will top out in the low 70s, but overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning, it's going to get a little colder with lows dropping into the low 40s versus the mid to upper 40s we were waking up to this this morning to the south and east, mainly in the 60s today with overnight lows dropping into the 30s and 40s. Uh, the series of two systems is going to be happening over the next uh, couple of days and the first will roll through tonight into early tomorrow morning, bringing our first wave of rain and mountain snow. Accumulations looking light with this first system and that will head out of here early tomorrow morning. So most of Thursday is actually going to be dry and then we're going to have another system roll through as we work our way towards Thursday night into Friday and that will bring some on and off valley rain and mountain snow. Accumulation looking a little bit greater with that second system. So for your future cast uh, for today, this is uh, looking at 7 p.m. We'll have a few clouds rolling in at this time, but most of today seeing tons of sunshine and then those clouds roll in after sunset by about midnight. That's when we're going to be dealing with that light rainfall here in eastern Pima County and to the east. Areas west of Tucson looking to stay dry with this first round. Uh, by 5 a.m. or 5 a.m. early tomorrow morning, we could see a few showers in Kochi, Scram, and Greenlee County and up in the White Mountains. But again, most of us dry throughout Thursday. A few clouds rolling in by 3 p.m. And then we have another round of heavier rainfall, especially north of Tucson. Check that out. Maybe some rumbles of thunder up towards Phoenix as well. And that will continue to roll through into Friday morning. And we'll see some off and on showers uh, Friday afternoon as well. So for the forecast rainfall totals, not only for tomorrow, but also through Friday up until about 9 a.m. Really light. Trace amounts to about a tenth of an inch for areas for uh, Tucson to the east. Maybe a quarter of an inch up in Safford. Close to that up in Oracle. Cost a grand. Maybe a half inch of rainfall up towards Phoenix about a quarter of an inch, so higher totals definitely north of Tucson. Snow level also dropping down to about 6,500 feet tonight, so places like Summer Haven could get some light snowfall tonight into early tomorrow morning. And just checking out the snowcast, we could see maybe an inch to three inches. Sorry, that didn't show up, but we could see an inch to three inches for the Catalinas, parts of the Rincons. High, high totals up towards the White Mountains. I'll be sure to get that uh, for the next half hour, but some decent snowfall totals with higher amounts ranging from potentially two to six inches, mainly confined up towards the White Mountains. All right, for your seven day forecast, low 60s for your Thursday, same deal Friday and Saturday. So getting much, much colder with about a 40% chance for showers over the next couple of days. And then as we work our way towards early Sunday morning and uh, Sunday and Monday morning, temperatures will drop into the 30s. So much, much colder, coldest mornings of the season so far, Robbie. Yeah, Shane, nice to see those cooler temperatures for us. Thank you so much.